All right, so good morning. My name is Jenna Mushik. I am from Valparaiso, Nebraska, but you may call me Miss M because I understand that my last name is very hard to pronounce correctly. So calling me Miss M will just make it easier for all of us. So today is Valentine's Day and we have a special activity that we are going to do starting with reading a book called The Dinosaur's Valentine's Day and then we will have a little questionnaire about the book once we read it. Since we have already read the book, there are five questions and you can find the answers by going back in the book. The first question is how is Logan the dinosaur celebrating Valentine's Day? And at the beginning of the book, it states that Logan is making Valentine's Day cards for all of his friends. Question number two is why is he making the Valentine's Day cards? Well, he is making the Valentine's Day cards for his friends so they to show them how much he, they mean to him. Question number three is why does Logan love Violet? Violet is a purple dinosaur and Logan loves Violet because she is super fast and comes first in any race. Question number four is why does Logan love Perry? Well, Logan loves Perry because he is the superstar baker of the friend group and of all the dinosaurs and he always has the best treats. Question number five, the final question is why do all the dinosaurs love Logan? Well, you can see at the end of the book that all the dinosaurs surprise Logan for Valentine's Day and they say that they love Logan because he is the most caring dinosaur and makes sure that all of his friends feel included and loved. So, to continue our little activity, we are going to make some Valentine's Day cards for our family or friends or whoever you choose to make them for. But before that happens, I need to go over a couple of safety things with you so first things, if you choose to do so, if you use markers, whether they are washable or not, should you should you draw on yourself? No, right, we shouldn't draw on ourselves because even if these are washable, the ink in our skin is very harmful if we get ink in our skin. So we do not draw on ourselves with the markers, we draw on paper with the markers and the next thing is scissors. Now, I don't know if you'll use the scissors or not, but if you choose to cut out hearts or stars or anything for your to glue to your card, maybe you want to make a pop-up Valentine's Day card, but there are some safety rules that go with these scissors. We do not hold the scissors like this. We do not run with the scissors. We do not swing the scissors on our fingers. The correct way to hold scissors is you grab them over the sharp part and you hold them down by your side. Now, even if you're holding them correctly, you should not run with scissors. If I find anyone running with scissors or breaking any of these safety rules, your scissors will be taken, taken away. So the first thing we need to do is fold our piece of paper so we can make a card, right? So, if you don't know how to fold it, that's okay. I did not know how to fold paper so we can make cards for the longest time, so you're not the only one. Um, so what you do, is you take your piece of paper and you fold it down, and obviously you match up your corners like this, and then you fold it and press down on the crease and then when you open it you should have a line down the middle of your paper so I will be grading your cards on your creativity and the colors that you use and if you use scissors correctly because safety with scissors is one of the things that we are skills that we are working on today as well as safety with markers so for those of you who don't know how to cut hearts this is what we're gonna do 
you are going to, just like you did to make your card, you're going to fold a blank piece of paper in half. And you're going to take your scissors and you're going to start at the bottom and make sure you cut on the side with the crease, otherwise your heart's going to be broken. So you're going to see how I can okay. cut like this. And then you should, when you unfold it, have a heart of some sort, which I did not cut deep enough for my center. So, and I might have made it a little too wide. But that is how you cut out hearts. And the, you will have about half an hour to 45 minutes to make your cards. And another thing that we are learning to do since it is Valentine's Day is sharing, right? So, and to be kind to people, which we shouldn't really need a holiday to be kind to people. We should just be kind to people on a daily basis. And we shouldn't need a holiday to tell our friends and family that we love them, right? So we... It doesn't need to be a holiday to tell your family how much they mean to you. But, you should be nice to our peers, and I don't want to hear any fighting about how he said or she said that her card looks better than mine, because we should be lifting each other up instead of tearing each other down, right? So, we are, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys start making your cards. Markers will be over by that table. Scissors will be over by that table over there. And I will be calling you guys a table at a time to go and get your supplies. Now let's review what we went over today. We do not run with the scissors. We hold the scissors like this down at our sides and we do not toss scissors across the room I've seen it happen before it's not a lot of fun and with markers even if they're washable you should never draw on yourself with markers because even if they are washable the ink is very harmful so we should only be drawing on paper with these markers no drawing on the tables no drawing on our selves no drawing on our friends and if i see that the markers will be taken away and i will give you an alternate assignment for this and well you will get to do that while your peers make the cards so and then cut out the hearts if you need any help you can either ask um one of your friends or maybe one of my teacher assistants that I have in here, or you can always raise your hand and ask me for help. And if you would like to look at the book that we read in class today, it will be up on my desk. And I'm going to show you guys one more time how to fold the paper to make a card, okay? So you're going to take your paper, hold it vertically up and down and then you're going to fold it down like this and make sure they're even and then you are going to press down your crease so with that out of the way uh go ahead and get started on your cards supplies are over there and i will be calling you guys table by table and I would like you guys to be very nice to one another while you are doing this project. And if I hear any hurtful words, 
then we are going to all of us are going to stop and we're going to put our heads down and we're going to think about what we shouldn't be acting like when we're doing these kinds of projects especially on a special holiday like this and then we will continue with making the cards